From NewsBTC, this is Chris Lewis, and I'm looking at the Bitcoin markets for the 20th of December. And you can see the Bitcoin has fallen just a bit during the trading session here on Tuesday, testing, uh, let's say, 17,500. Uh, I think we're going to continue to see a little bit of bearish pressure, though, because the um, most voluminous candles are to the downside. And a lot of this is probably profit taking before the holidays. I don't think it's anything to be concerned about longer term. Um, remember, most Bitcoin is driven by retail buying. So a lot of retail traders are simply not interested at the moment. Same thing in the yen. I think the 2 million yen level underneath continues to be supportive. The um, Stochastic oscillator is starting to cross in the oversold area, so I think it's only a matter of time before the buyers return. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. From NewsBTC, this is Chris Lewis, and I'm looking at the Bitcoin markets for the 20th of December. And you can see the Bitcoin has fallen just a bit during the trading session here on Tuesday, testing, uh, let's say, 17,500. Uh, I think we're going to continue to see a little bit of bearish pressure, though, because the um, most voluminous candles are to the downside. And a lot of this is probably profit taking before the holidays. I don't think it's anything to be concerned about longer term. Um, remember, most Bitcoin is driven by retail buying. So a lot of retail traders are simply not interested at the moment. Same thing in the yen. I think the 2 million yen level underneath continues to be supportive. The um, stochastic oscillator is starting to cross in the oversold area. So I think it's only a matter of time before the buyers return. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow.